Our first haircut today is the beautiful Megan. We start Megan's haircut through the back. So I'm going to split the back section down the center. My sections will be approximately two centimeters in depth. So. Then we comb the hair from the underneath. And we pinch the section with the thumb and the forefinger. And we lose the comb in the palm of the hands. The important thing when you use the chisel is to make sure that the angle of the chisel is at a 45 degree angle to the head and not at a 90 degree angle. Working at 90 degrees will tug on the scalp. Working at 45 will allow the hair just to fall away. The other important thing to remember is to make sure that you don't use your wrist. You're actually working from the elbow and dropping the chisel through the hair. I'm going to use my eyes to determine the length of this haircut, which will be approximately two centimetres all over Megan's head. And then just drop the chisel through the hair. This gives me a nice, uneven, but strong texture. Then I'll work this section through the opposing side. Again, coming from the underneath, pinching with the thumb, forefinger, lose the comb, make sure we have a 45 degree angle with the chisel, and just dropping the chisel through the hair, which gives me a nice short length, a couple of centimetres long, that has left me this nice soft exterior that we will go back to in detail later. And we just follow this section pattern up the head to the occipital bone. Again, coming from the underneath, pinching with the thumb and the forefinger, lose the comb in the palm of the hands. I'm using my guideline very loosely and allowing my eye judgment to cut this at a two centimetre length. So it's as much eye judgment as following a guideline. And again, 45 degree angle dropping the blade through the hair. Then we go back to the other side. Megan's haircut will be essentially a uniform layer, but cutting the haircut with the chisel will give me a radically different texture and look. up to the next section, the next section which sits just on the ear, and again coming from the underneath, pinching the section, ensuring we've got a 45 degree angle, pushing the chisel through the hair. Now for ease and for speed, I'm going to stick with this left hand side, my next section will go from centre back right through to the front hairline. Again, pulling the hair away from the head. I can loosely see my guy line on the underneath, but again, I'm using my eye, eye judgment to determine the length that I wish to cut. Again, 45 degree angle, allowing the elbow to drop, pushing the blade, through the hair. And then continue this section right through to the front hairline. And again, because I'm elevating the section, I leave this softness on the lower part of the haircut. We continue this in two centimeter sections up as high as the recession point. So 
the centre back, right through to the front hairline. The hair is being pulled out approximately at a 90 degree angle, like the chisel is being pushed through at a 45 degree angle. Push the hair out, just have a look at your haircut as you're going along. And I can already see fabulous texture appearing. And my final section on the left hand side, crown right through to the recession point. To make it easier for myself, I'm just going to tilt Megan's hair just slightly over. So it, it's easy for me then to pull the hair out at 90 degrees. And I can see quite clearly pushing this through at a 45 degree angle. And that's how completed. Left hand side. And we go to the right hand side and we just repeat the process. And then to join the two sides together over the crown, going beyond the crown and dragging this hair backwards. I want to leave myself just a little extra lift or length through the top to give me some, a fuller finish. To complete the haircut we need to go to the top section and to make this easy and simplistic you have to get the client to participate in the haircut. So I'm going to spin Megan around just get her to drop her head forward. Then I'll section from the side I've just cut through to the opposite side. Again, I want to just loosely use this guideline that sits over that crown section, but I really want to leave a little bit of extra length, so I will cut just a little longer than that guideline. We'll just complete this section pattern through to the fringe area. Again, it's imperative that you make sure that this blade sits at a 45 degree angle to the hair so there's no discomfort to the customer. To ensure there's no overhang, I'm going to take the section just through to this right hand side that we've already cut. I can see a little overhanging hair, take away that extra length. And the same on the left hand side. And then we've completed that top section. So we spin Megan back to the mirror. And then we can just cross check our haircut. And the best way is to sit both fingers in at the scalp, drag them to the end, just checking we've got symmetry within the haircut. We're not after absolute perfection. We want the end result to be quite choppy, but we do require symmetry. And then coming down, we're just going to detail those edges. Just 
lifting up the hair, sitting the chisel on and pushing it through just gently, removing a little extra length. Gives me a slightly stronger exterior shape. And there we have Megan's completed haircut. We shall send her away now and get her colour completed and then show you the drying technique afterwards. Thank you, Megan.